Hi, I'm Karen Brage, and welcome to Black Swan Journals. Here's a prototype of something we're going to make today. I'm giving this one to my neighbor, and I've been growing morning glories over the summer, and it's actually the first of November now. It's actually November 3rd today, but it's getting cold, and I thought I would harvest some seeds and uh, make a little a little card to give to my neighbors and maybe she could grow some next year. So I harvested the seeds and I made a little seed packet here and put them in there and stamped the word grow. <laughs> and on the back I said the name of the plant and the variety and the date collected and notes she might want to make. I did it in pencil in case she'd like to erase and reuse it for a different plant next year. And on the little craft colored piece of card there, I had put um, stamped uh, successes, challenges, and on the back, um, weather and yield, just so she could take notes on all of those things. And here I'm showing you another pocket on the back and I've used some gold wax by Hero Arts and some napkin to put um, the things on the, on the front of that, the butterfly and the ladybug and and here's a vintage uh, seed packet that I thought I would include for some fun. And a big journaling tag there. And on the front is um, more of that, that gold wax that came out really pretty. And some Will William Morris papers there. Just, lo just love him and his designs. Well, I don't know about him, but I loved his work. <laughs> I never knew him. Um, and here I, I included a poem, an excerpt, an excerpt actually, of a poem about morning glories and drew a little morning glory down there. And then I uh, made a little mini journal and I just, I don't know about you, but I just love anything mini. And so I just did a little three hole pamphlet stitch with some embroidery floss and used some papers that were left over from the project and Here's a mini little flip through. And she can take notes in there if she wishes about her her successes or or her what she admires or or anything, you know, about about her growing of these seeds. And I used some ink. Um, I used a mahogany, um, Tim Holtz mahogany colored distress oxides to go over the embossed papers. Another chocolate break. <laughs> so here's a bunch of papers I've collected to make one with you now. And it's basically the same thing. Um, but in another video, it was a short actually, I had some packaging and I did some mixed media techniques on them and that's what you're seeing there down on the bottom for the pocket, the light blue piece. Um, I did it with acrylic paints and stencils and, and just kept going until I liked the result. So I cut a piece of that for the pocket. The little rabbit is from um, an old digital kit from Vectoria Designs. And she, she has a shop on Etsy, I believe. And the honeycomb paper I embossed myself. And here's another piece of the mixed media packaging. And I'm having a little discovery right now. Um, the piece on the back is not as long as the piece on the front. And I could patch it, you know, with like another piece of card or something, but I wanted it, I wanted the edges to meet up and be neater. So, I went to my stash of this packaging when it, that, that I did the mixed media technique on to see if I could find another piece that was long enough, but I couldn't find the right colors. So I decided to cut the blue one shorter to the same length as the pink one on the back so that they would meet. And here I'm using some acetone based glue which is called Fabrifix. I use this when I'm gluing cardstock because it's heavier and regular PVA glue doesn't really hold that well for heavy, heavy cardstock, in my experience anyway. Okay. 
So yeah, we just had a hard frost, our first hard frost, maybe two or three days ago. And it's November 3rd here now. Well, I'm doing a little dance right now because <laughs> there was music playing that I absolutely loved <laughs> and just had to get into it for a minute. Um, but yeah, so now I'm trimming things up. So anyway, we just had a hard frost and, you know, things are going to quickly be going away and going dormant here soon for the winter plants. So if you are where I am or south of this zone, I'm in zone, um, I'd say like four or five B, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty cold. It gets pretty cold here. Um, this is Fahrenheit I'm going to mention, but um, we probably, we, we can get to like negative 25 with wind chill. Um, so it can, it can get pretty cold here and that's Fahrenheit. I'm not sure what it would be Celsius. So anyways, the reason why I'm babbling on about this is because go out there and start collecting your seeds, harvest your seeds from, from your plants. Just be sure that your seeds aren't, are fertile. Like your plants are fertile. Um, some seeds are bred um, to be asexual and they don't produce a seed. Um, so those you could not, you could not harvest and get plants next year. But I encourage you to go out there and look at, look in your plants and open them up. See if there's some seeds in there. It's such a beautiful thing that seeds just can be taken out of a plant, put into the dark for months, and then next year put them in the ground and oh my gosh, life. So now I'm going to glue on this little cute bunny rabbit pocket. And this is art glitter glue. And in case anyone's new to this world, there's no glitter in this glue. It's just the name of the glue. It's an excellent PVA type glue. Bonds really fast. It's quite strong. I had this cute little orange envelope in my stash for years. Had a little I got it in a set of little cards that you give. And I thought it would be sweet to um, turn into another seed packet. So now we're on the back. So everything is held together by this craft envelope, pretty much. That's how I started the idea with a craft envelope. So now I have another little, um, oh, here's another vintage seed packet. And what I'm touching here now is um, another little seed packet that I made. I think I'm still playing around with composition here. And yeah, I'm seeing what I might like to put on there and how I want things to lay. I always like it to, I don't know, like I try to have it all seen like as you're looking at it, as you receive it, if, if you understand what I mean. Um, yeah, so here's the calendula seeds. I also um, got some of those recently. I love calendula. And here's a little seed packet that I got off of the Graphics Fairy website. And I'm pouring in the calendula seeds now. And calendula flowers are medicinal. Um, I think they have healing properties, but I'm, I'm not positive. Um, but I, they're edible. Uh, you can use them as a garnish, decorate desserts. And I'm just going to seal it up with a little bit of washi tape, a little honeycomb washi tape. A little nod, you know, a little nod to uh, the flower world with, with some honeycomb washi tape. So this is a little image I cut off of a real seed packet that I bought um, at a nursery for calendula flowers. And I just fussy cut it. Well, I just tore it actually and glued it to the front. 
is a company called Botanical Interests. They have such lo lovely illustrations on their seed packets. I love it. And I thought this little paper would be pretty. Also, she could jot down little notes if she wanted to. Still playing with composition. Here's that big journaling card. I put a little pocket also on the back. Now I'm just trimming it up. I'm having so much fun. I'm new to YouTube and I'm having so much fun. Uh, I just want to thank everybody, anybody that's interested in my videos. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it and would love to be here for you and craft with you or teach or whatever it is. So here's a little card I made years ago and never did anything with it. So now I decide I'm going to collage on the inside. And here's the finished work of the inside collage. I made a little pocket and it goes inside the envelope. Just more space for note taking or, or maybe some inspiration, you know, a place to write up your own poem about calendula or your morning glories. <laughs> So here is that stamp that I was showing earlier, um, and that's the package in case you're interested in if, I don't know if they're still being produced, but if you like them and want to buy them. And I love them because um, they look storybook to me, you know, with the little vines around the alphabet. Um, so I thought that it would be perfect for this, you know, because we're growing here. So yeah, so I stamped the word grow and, and uh, left that one blank. So here's the finished product of what we just made together. And I'll do like a little mini flip through now so you can see it all finished and how it looks. And I left this one empty. It's a little journal here to do whatever you want with. More of that packaging of the mixed media I did. Some more of the embossed papers. An old Rolodex card old dictionary page, some leftover pages from the project, a little girl I stamped with flowers, another little pocket on the back with that packaging that I made. I love these vintage seed packets, aren't they cool? They might be reproductions, I'm not really sure, um, but I did buy them in a vintage, vintage shop. So hopefully here she'll have all the successes in the world and no challenges. Hopefully beautiful weather with just the right amount of rain. This little card, um, this little green card was part of the um, card that's inside the envelope that I've had for years and decided to finally use it. So I hope you had fun with me. I hope you like this. Um, I'd love to give it away. I don't know what to do with this one now. <laughs> If you'd like to do a swap in Happy Mail or just would like to receive it, leave some comments. Hit me up. I'd love to host a swap. If anyone would like to do a swap, I'll, I'll host it for you. <laughs> anyway, I'm brand new to YouTube and loving it and hoping to grow with you. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Bye.